Welcome to Sedona. We're out here in the evening, as you can tell, and my plan here is to shoot a pano of the Milky Way. Uh, Milky Way should be coming from over there and arching all the way across, but we're going to do it a little. I'm going to do it a little differently because I'm going to use a star tracker. This is a uh, a technique that I saw um, that uh, Camelli Pancali, I think. I hope I pronounced that correctly. The correct pronunciation of his name is Camil Pekala. Uh, did a uh, YouTube video on doing this. Uh, I will have a link in the description below. My plan is to do this in two videos. So this will be the video in the field showing the setup, showing everything. And then I will have a second video with the, uh, on the post-processing. Okay, so for the setup here, I've got a, the Star Adventure 2i for the Star Tracker. I've got it set up on a leveling base so I can get it nice and level. I can also use that. I can also twist it a little bit to do that. And at the moment, what I have is I have it set up just roughly polar aligned to where the North Star will be. I've got two ball heads. I have the first ball head here, which is used just to bring up this clamp plate level. And I actually have a ball level on there so I can look at it and make it nice and level. Then I have a second ball head on here that I can use for the rotating and I can adjust the tilt on the, pan on the camera so I get a nice smooth pano. For the camera, I'm using a Fuji GFX 100S. This is a 102 megapixel medium format camera. Makes really nice pictures, really love the camera. The lens, I'm using the 23 millimeter F4 lens by Fuji. This is the widest lens that they make for this camera. It works out to being about an 18 millimeter full frame equivalent. I, uh, I've already pre-focused out there and I put some tape on the, uh, the focus ring. Plan is I've got the, the moon is setting back over here so I'm going to get taking some of uh, the main pano shots. Hopefully I'll get some detail from the moonlight in there and then I'm going to let the, the get dark, let the stars come out, let the Milky Way start rising up and I'll shoot the second pano for that. So we've got the uh, ground pano shot. You say we're using the star tracker, so you have to have a ground shot and you have to have the sky shot because the camera will be moving during the sky shot and your ground's gonna be real fuzzy. So you gotta blend the two together. Uh, star tracker, I'm getting ready to do the final polar alignment. If you're wondering about setting up this star tracker and doing the polar alignment and stuff, the Light Explorer has an excellent video, very detailed on all the steps involved and, and tricks involved in setting up the star tracker and polar aligning it. It's really not that hard once you do it a few times, but uh, definitely watch this video. I'll have a link to it in the, in the uh, description below. So the plan is I'm going to have this set up on the app, the star tracker app. It's going to run. It's going to do a two, approximately two minute exposure. I'll have about a one minute break between it and I'm just going to let it run. The star tracker will keep moving. So I'll take a shot with the Without, the fil without a filter. Then I'm gonna put this filter on, which is the Case Star Glow filter designed by Alan Wallace. Excellent filter, and it makes the bright stars really pop and the light stars kind of dim back. So I'm gonna have both shots. What I'm basically doing is getting myself both so I can choose between the two or blend the two together and get something in between. So, between, so after it takes a sh shot without the filter, we'll just come in, we'll just put the filter on, take the next shot, We'll take the filter off, rotate the camera 40 degrees, do the next shot, and go through the whole cycle, through all the shots. And it's about a five row panel. So I've got all the uh, ground panel shots done. I've got the star panel shots done, both with and without the filter. So pretty much everything's done photo on, out in the field. Now it's just a matter of taking it back to the computer and putting it all together. So it's time to pack everything up and head back to the car and drive home and hopefully we'll be seeing uh, seeing the image real soon
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe.